Well guys, um, this is the bullet I picked the other day, it's now a sort of soggy mess, but it is full of eggs, of the bullet nat I believe it is called, and just showing this before the main feature. Okie doke, um, there we go, okay. so, these are the other little beasties, right. Hi guys, brew time. Um, this short video is by way of a sort of um, <coughs> Hi guys, brew time. Well, <coughs> this short video is I think a request, I can't remember now. Um, Mick was asking about Jester Bushcraft was asking about stropping and you don't it's not a complicated subject it really is not complicated and in just a second I'm going to go through my stropping kit that I have um, it's a little bit bigger than what I've got here you know I've got a few other bits but this is basically what I've done what I use um, after you spent time using either oil stones a DC4 um, I personally use wet stones now, Japanese water stones. Um, wet stone means to sharpen, so that could be either an oil stone, a wet stone made from um, carborundum or whatever. But I use Japanese water stones. I find it gives a better edge. Um, the stones wear out rather than you having a complete stone that where the abrasive edge actually smooths out as you get in um, oil stones but each to his own that's my personal preference well um, in a second I'll go over this as I say you, you spent time sharpening your knife or your hook knife or whatever and you wish to give it a final edge I would like to point out that I don't strop my axes my axes get a lovely sharp edge as they are and you you know, it's always a bit of a moot point between bushcrafters. And, well, without further ado, and in the next scene, I will go through my stropping kit. Now, people will tell you that you will require sort of lots of fancy bits of kit. But what I've got here is a belt, which I can hook up. Um, I think it cost me 50p from a charity shop. It's a nice leather belt. Um, I've got two pieces of birch polypore. This one's mounted, this one isn't. Um, this is a huge birch polypore, and I ended up using the off cuts and odd little bits to make a bit of a fire startery, smokery thing for keeping mosquitoes away. And this is just a piece of leather mounted on some board. Um, here for my hook knives, this is. I've got some more rods upstairs, but for the purposes of this, I'm just using these two. Um, this isn't mounted, this is just sanded smooth, and I mean really smooth. And this is, um, I think it's 600 grit paper. Right, so I put my knife up there. On the leather, I use this. Just a little, tiny drop of water salt. It's uh, chrome polish. Um, it works very well. But I, I would I would suspect you could use Brasso or nothing at all. Or you could use chocolate if you wish, but what a waste. It would rather be inside me than on my stropping kit. So, right Mick, when you strop, now you spent your time getting an edge on your knife. So obviously you want to just build the keenness up. Not a lot, but you know, just, just to give it a nice edge. Now <coughs> when you've when you've actually sharpened your knife on the water stones, you're doing this all the time. You're going the blade away from you, pushing away, and you're coming down like this. So you've built your edge up. Now you come into the strop. When you're stropping just like that, you keep the edge to the thing and you're doing that. It. 
if you go that way, which you shouldn't, you will cut into the strop and if, it's, if you're using a leather belt, you will cut the belt in half. Now, I, use, I have or I may use my Ray Mears belt. It has been used in the past, well not my belt personally, but the RM belt has been used in the past for stropping. It is actually very good for that. It's a 5mm belt. But there you go. This is all you have to do when you're stropping. Just drop that on the floor for a minute so it slides off. Now this is birch polyfork, which is a great tool for stropping. It's all you've got to do. You don't have to add anything to this. It strops very well on its own. And of course, where will we be without the ubiquitous paper test? I can't. Um, I will do the paper test in a second or two. Again, with the melted board, it's a case that you just pull it back away towards you away. And you have a little bit of water, so it also polishes the blade up quite nicely. In fact, this this could do with a bit of an edge on it, really. And the same with this piece. This is just another piece of birch. Uh, incidentally, off the same piece of polypore. Um, this fits in your pocket. And again, nothing complicated at all with it. The same when you're using your crook knife. I mean, this is my crook knife. And my spoon knife, the bevel's on the other side. Um, you, you give it a bit of an edge with this, but all you have to do then is just, and it takes a little burr off. Be very careful with these blades because they do have a tendency to uh, nip your fingers. You just go like that, on the edge. If you want to see if you're stropping well, I mark a pen and just colour the blade up and it will wear off. Um, in the next bit I will show you stropping with the um, belt. So, right here we have the belt. I've used the door handle to hook it around. Um, bit of paracord, brown a tree, hook it up like that. It's really good. Again, no weight in your pack at all. You grab your knife so, And if you want, you just grab the auto seal. And yeah, that's a tiny drop. You don't want a lot, just a tiny drop. And About 25 passes they recommend after you spent your time. This gets rid of the burr off your blade of course. Right. Let's see what we got. This is quite thick paper by the way, it's, um, it's cloth made printing paper, it's quite robust.
So there you go, it's not a very good demonstration, I'll just a bit, um, but, you know, there we go folks, well, I wouldn't want to run this across my wristies now, like I demonstrated to someone at work the other day, but that's another story and another knife, but this is just a more clipper, ow, and, got a nice little edge on it now so I hope that's proved of worth toodaloo folks and I hope you get a good idea on how to strop your knife TTFN